Hi everyone, thank you for joining us for Tuesday's tip. My name is Julie Johnson and these tips are brought to you by Vine Images. Welcome to week number 35. This week, we're gonna be discussing the importance of resizing your images before you post them on your Facebook or on your blog or on your website. Resizing your images is very important for copyright protection, for your page loading quickly. So this is a very important week. If you do not know how to resize your images, this week is gonna be for you. So here we are in Photoshop. I personally like to resize my images to 12 inches and be able to have control over what height I want at 72 pixels per inch. So we're gonna crop this image, which is a high resolution image, um, to that. So we're gonna crop it. And it's very important to put your logo on your images when you're posting on Facebook or on your blog. And the importance of resizing your image is that no one can take it. If you look at the pixels here when we zoom in, if anybody tried to uh, copy this or save it to their computer, they can't do anything with it. So um, just because the print quality is not going to be good. So you want to make sure you resize every image that you post and then type your logo or you can just move your logo on top um, of the image. So you take your text tool and uh, you can type your name, you can change the color so that it matches um, your um, image. You want everything to look nice together. Okay, so we're going to merge down, we're gonna flatten the image there and then we're going to duplicate the layer. This is to get our border Okay, so now we're going to go to um, edit and then stroke and we're going to change the color of the border um, to match like close to the font and we're going to do about three pixels and we're going to stroke to the inside of the image. Okay, so now you want to go file save for web. This keeps the image small. It compresses it perfectly for the web and then you want to save it as a JPEG there. Okay, so you wanna probably save all your blog images in a separate folder because you wouldn't wanna resave um, over your image. So um, we always make new uh, blog folders. Okay, so now this image is, um, is a portrait image and I don't find that portrait is good for blogging. You wanna make your images either square or rectangle. So what we're gonna do with this image is make it square. So we're going to crop it in. Again, we're doing at the 12 inches by um, whatever height that you want at 72 dpi. So there you have it. So now we're going to grab our text tool and we're going to write our logo over top. So some, some photographers like to um, put their logo over top of the baby so that no one can copy it. It's all, it's all up to you what you want to do, but because the file sizes are so small, people can't really do anything with these images anyways. Okay, so um, here you go. We're going to change um, the position there. And uh, just to show you, you can put it all sorts of different places, whatever you're the most comfortable with. So now I'm just going to show you when you have your text tool, you can click on the FX button um, at the bottom there on your layers and it brings up this menu for layer style. And on the left, you can go through all different types of, um, of effects you can do to your fonts. So it's pretty amazing. You'll want to play with that. Okay, so now we're going to flatten the image. We're going to duplicate the layer. And then we are going to go to edit, stroke, which gives us the border on the inside. We're just going to do black. And then you go file, save for web. So there you have it. This brings out the menu and you follow through, save it. So as you can see with this image, I don't have the luxury of cropping it into a square. So what we're going to do is, as you can see on the menu there to your left, the two squares at the bottom, we're going to change the background color. So right now we're picking a color inside the image that is going to match. Okay, so we're going to hit OK. Now we're going to grab our crop tool and we're going to extend the crop over like this. Okay, so what happens is the background color fills in there. Uh, we're going to crop it. And voila, you now have a landscape photo to place on your blog or on Facebook. That's going to look great. 
So now we're going to grab the text tool and uh, you can pick whatever font. Usually you want to stick with the same thing. I'm just using different fonts here just to show you what you can do. And uh, so we're going to resize the font, go up to the top there, make it a little bit smaller so that it's cosmetically pleasing to the eye. And, uh, and again, you can move it around wherever you want. So we're just going to put it down here. Okay, perfect. And now we're going to flatten the image, duplicate the layer, stroke it. So file, edit, stroke. And we're going to change the, um, the border to be a little bit darker. And again, this is the way I do it. You might do it totally different when you're adding a border. Everybody's going to do things that are different. On behalf of Vine Images, I just want to thank you so much for joining us for Tuesday's tip. We hope you learned something new today. Please leave your comments below. All you YouTube subscribers, please join us on Facebook uh, just to be up to date with what's going on. Thanks so much guys for all your support and we will talk to you soon. Bye bye.